Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm going to explain you how you can authenticate your Azure OpenAI chatbot which is built using Python and we will be using managed identity as our authentication mechanism. So in my previous video I already spoke about how you can authenticate your chatbot using Entry ID. So if you have not gone through that I can quickly point you to that video. So this is the first video which I have created for authentication. So in continuation to that, now I am coming up with another video in which we will be using the managed identity. So let's quickly have a look at it. So I have already written few lines of code and this is the same code which I have already created in my previous Entra ID demo. So what I'm doing here is I'm importing these two packages and then I'm getting the default credential because here we don't want to go with key based authentication. So that is the overall purpose of why we are going for the managed identity or even the Microsoft Entra ID. So now once we have grabbed our Azure credentials, next thing is we need to create the token provider. So for creating the token provider, I'm using the Azure credential and this is the scope which I'm using. Then this is the simple way of creating an Azure OpenAI client. So what I'm passing here is Azure API version, then endpoint and the token provider which we just created here in line number seven. So once we have that, we are good to make a call to our completion endpoint and here make sure that you are passing the correct model, your prompt and the max number of tokens. So once this is done, I think we are good with our OpenAI call. And for UI, I'm just creating a very simple Flask app. So here you can see I have not done anything Zazzy. I'm just setting my configuration to debug mode. Then I'm invoking my app by setting the template folder because this is a folder where I'm placing my HTML files and these are the two simple functions which I have created. If I will show you my form.html, it is like a very simple three control, uh, having a three controls on it. I'm not using any style sheet or anything because the overall purpose is to just show what is happening on the screen. So let me quickly run this and show you how it is working right now. So I'm saying flask dot run and it has already launched this server for me. So I'm going to use that. Let's type in some question. What is AI? So I have not taken any custom documents or custom data. I'm just trying to invoke uh, OpenAI based Azure OpenAI based chatbot which will be hosting on the Azure. So here you can see we have the response over here. So let's quickly go here and stop the server. So we have seen that it is working very well on our local machine. Now how can we deploy it to Azure and how can we make it over uh, run it over the internet? So for deploying this app on Azure, there are two things. Either you can directly do everything from the Visual Studio itself, or the second option is to go to Azure portal and configure everything, which I would personally prefer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to my Azure portal, going to app services, and here I'm creating a new app service, and under that I'm taking the web app. So let's click on that. I'm going to take my existing resource group. Then we need to provide some names. So let's say Azure OpenAI. It should be dash. Okay. And then I'm putting code. Runtime stack would be for Python because I'm using 3.10. So I'm picking the same one. Accordingly, you can choose the one which you are taking. And here I will go to West US. Okay, here you need to select your plan. I will go with the premium one. And let's click on review plus create. So there are many parameters when you create your app service. So definitely you can go ahead and customize based on the requirement. I'll click on create. and it will start the deployment. So you can see that the deployment is in progress and it is going to take few seconds. So let's wait for it. 
okay so it's done and let's quickly have a look it should appear over here so okay this is the app service which we have created I will quickly go to lock stream okay now what we can do is we can go to VS code and click on uh, so there are again multiple ways to do this you can either select it from the menu options over here you can even go to this Azure extension and do it but the simplest and the most easiest way I feel is this one deploy to web app and on the top you can see that it will list down all the resources where you have the app services created so in my case it's just one so I will select this one and here it's saying are you sure you want to deploy it will write all the existing ones so that's okay because it's just an empty one for us and at the bottom you can see it is deploying okay so let's give it few seconds it's gonna take some time over here So we can see it is deployed. Let's go to Azure portal and I don't see any errors over here. So I'm assuming that everything is all good. Okay, now we have our uh, app deployed. So you can quickly go here and check this out. So sometimes it will take some time to uh, like get it uh, affected or before you open this URL but sometimes it's pretty fast. So here you can provide your question and I'm sure it is not going to work right now. So let me quickly explain you what is going over here. So we have deployed our app, but we have not given permission to this app to use our open Azure OpenAI. So in order to provide that, what we need to do is we need to first of all enable its identity so that OpenAI, Azure OpenAI will get to know that okay this is the thing on which I need to grant access. So for that what we can do is uh, we can go to settings then go to identity and here you can see there are two things system assign and the user assign. So I'm going to turn this on so if you don't know system assigned identity is the identity which is associated to with this particular app so as soon as this app is deleted your system identity will go off and on the other hand user identity here you can see user identity uh, is the one which can be created independent of the app so if you want your identity's lifespan to be outside of this app then you should go with the user assigned identity. As of now, I'm going with system assigned. So now we have exposed this identity. Next thing is we need to go to, let me quickly save it. Okay, so next thing is we need to go to our app, which is Azure OpenAI. And under access control, you need to grant the permission. So click on add, add role assignment. And here you can search for the required roles, whatever you want. If you want to grant full access, just select the contributor, click on next. And you need to select the second option. Like I said, this time we are going with the managed identity. So click on this and here you need to select the members. So it will list down all the user assign and the system assigned ones. So recently we have just created the system assign and let me see, this is the one demo AO AI. So let's select this and it will go ahead and assign the required permissions. Now again, this assignment may take some time. So if still your things are not working, I would recommend you to wait for a minute or two before trying it again. Let me quickly give it a try. What is AI? And you can see that the response is over here. So how easy it was to deploy this app on the Azure. Coming on to the URL, if you want to change this, it can be done very easily by utilizing these options over here. 
so you can go to settings and here is the custom domain so here you can go and update your url to whatever you want so that's all i have for today and i hope you got an idea how you can deploy your azure openai based chatbot to azure do let me know in comments if it's working for you or not thanks for watching